All right, now I'm really excited. I've always been a huge fan of EastEnders and today I get to go and meet one of the cast members who used to be in it for a long amount of time. Her name is Bumi Mojekwa and she played character Mercy. And I'm gonna be asking her a few questions on how she ended up getting onto EastEnders and Albert Square and what she did after. And is she ever going back? Hi everybody, I'm Hussein reporting live from Hussein's house and I'm joined with the multi-talented actress Bumi Majeku. How are you Bumi? <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright uh, Bumi, we have a lot of questions to go through today. Okay. I'm going to first off start by asking you, uh, when you were at drama school, what factors do you think helped you moving forward with your career that you took from school? Um, well, I didn't really go to like a drama, drama school, but um, one thing I did pick up during like doing drama productions in secondary school and you know, the, the little club I went to on weekends was that no role is too small or too big. So anything you're, get, you're given, put your role into it. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the audition process from EastEnders, uh -huh. from E20 onto mainstream EastEnders. Because mm -hmm. that was quite a grueling process, wasn't it? Let's, can you talk us through that, please? Uh, yeah, so the E20 was a big audition. So it was a group audition and it was like, hundreds and hundreds of girls and guys that they auditioned for it so it when I got to the audition it was a group audition so we were there with like I don't know about eight other people so I think I went through about three or four knockouts and then you know they'll bring us in and send us back mm -hmm. out so you'd be tried with different people so um, you know, so was this all on the same day no 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 different day so they'll call you back like two to three weeks later so you'll wondering if you're ever going to get a call back and then you do so even finding out took a long time so can you give us um your top three do's and don'ts on set something that you wish you had been told that you wasn't um i don't know what i wish i had been told i guess okay so the top for me would be just to uh, uh be quiet and absorb so just blend in don't try and overcompensate don't try and be friendly too friendly with everybody because everyone has their job and that's what's mm -hmm. on their mind so you keep your job on mind and do that i think a don't for me personally is just basically off the back of what i just said it's just to kind of not keep yourself to yourself but be observant watch mm -hmm. learn from everybody the directors the camera guys the runners those are the people that you want to impress because those are the people who give reports on you how important is networking in your line of work? Uh, it's very important. I'm not good at it, I must admit, but it is very important. Um, because it's keeping relations, especially if you haven't got a body of work to talk for you. And just, just, just network. Yeah, I've, we've had that quite a lot to be polite. Because mm -hmm. people remember people that are polite. Yeah, definitely. It's good to be polite. And funny, and just yourself. Whoever you are, be that. People can always tell and, and grab a tit gravitate towards an authentic person. And finally, what advice would you give to any young aspiring actors or actu actresses that are watching this right now? Uh, I think just to believe in yourself and look out for opportunities as well. So try and involve yourself in anything you can. Go to the theatres, um, be around those environments. It, it kind of triggers off something within you and then you're like, ah, now I know what to do then sitting home all day is not going to work and thinking about your dream. Be active, I say, and learn. Like, you know, don't think you have all the answers or you know how to do it because if you never got it, it wasn't for you. So learn from what other people are doing and think, all right, I like that, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Figure out how it works for you personally and I think you'll go a lot further than trying to imitate or say, I'm like this person, I'm like that person. You're really who you are. So be who you are and be confident in that and be persistent and patient. Thank you very, very much. Hi, I'm Bumi Majekwu and I'm at Hussein's house for Bucks New University. Now, for your chance to win an iPad, just answer the question below. Wow, life on Albert Square. Just even getting onto Albert Square seemed like it was a challenge, but I mean, if you've got the faith and determination, you'll get there. Wise words from Bumi. I learned so much from her just then. Now, up next, 
I'm going to go and catch up with fashion stylist Alexis Knott. Now you may not have heard of her name just yet, but you would have heard of the next few names I'm about to mention. She styled Bruno Mars, Rita Ora and Miley Cyrus just to name a few. Now I've got to go and meet her in Shoreditch, so I'm off to Shoreditch again. Hopefully I'll bump into Liam, get another free t-shirt. Now, for your chance to win an iPad, make sure you answer the three questions below at the bottom of each interview. Come on, you can get an iPad, what are you waiting for? Go!